Many young people struggle with the question, what should I do with my life? Thankfully, there are clear answers in God's word that guide us each and every day to make the right choices. In Proverbs 16, one through nine, King Solomon speaks to his very own son about practical life wisdom. And in this Walk Talk series, Scott Bratt walks through nine verses that teach us how to make plans with God's wisdom. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Proverbs 16, 2 and 3. Welcome back to Walk Talks. I'm Scott Bratt from Southland sharing today's devotional from God's Word. Today, we are continuing a series from Proverbs 16. This book of Proverbs was written by Solomon to his son. He wanted to train and inspire and guide the next generation, specifically in wisdom, the way that God wants us to live. Proverbs 16, 1 through 9 it really just serves as an answer to the, to the question that seems to be on every young adult's heart of what should I do with my life? It's almost as if his son came to him and said, Dad, what should I do with my life? And Solomon responds with Proverbs 16, 1 through 9. Today we're looking at two of those verses. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. The ways of man, the the patterns, the patterns of decisions that they've made that indicate where they're going, right? These are kind of the ways of man. And they seem right or clean in our own eyes. They see we seem to think that these are the right choices. But the Lord, he weighs the spirits. He considers the motives, the attitudes with which we do everything that we do. A lot of times we can get caught up doing the right thing, but not with the right attitude or not for the right reason. Um, Why we act is as important as what we choose. Why we choose is as important as what we choose. I think about the Pharisees who in the Bible, they were known for doing everything right. They were known for being uh, extremists to the letter of the law and and even adding um, additional things and, and steps to do something that's considered right. But as we can see from the the Pharisees' prayer on the corner, the reason that they were doing it was was not right at all. And over and over, Christ, when he was on earth, he criticizes, he rebukes the Pharisees for not what they were doing, but how they were doing it, why they were doing it, the attitude with which they were doing it. And, And pride was just inundated uh, the Pharisees. They were hypocrites is what Christ called them, which is not somebody who struggles with sin, but somebody who pretends they don't struggle with sin. A hypocrite, once again, is not somebody who indeed struggles with sin, but somebody who pretends they don't struggle with sin, right? Because we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous, no, not one. Um, In 1 John, it talks about how we have sin. And if we say we don't have sin, we're a liar. Um, And so we must be hypocrites or not be hypocrites that are are true. Um, And then verse, so all of that being said, we must make plans with right motives, right? We're talking about What should I do with my life? Well, we should make plans. We know that from verse one, but we should make plans knowing God is in control, being surrendered to him. We should make plans 
with the right motives. There's so many different reasons why we might make decisions or make plans. Um, I want to go here because it's um, going to be easy or I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to do this so that uh, people like me. These aren't the right motives. We need to make plans and make decisions for the future with the right motives because God knows them. And God is making judgments on on the right spirits. The Lord weigheth the spirits. Not only do we see that we need to make plans with the right motives, but also, verse three, commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. Uh, What we do, we need to commit it to the Lord. And it says that he will establish our thoughts, our plans. Uh, When we make plans to serve God, God makes plans to establish us, to secure us, to bless us. Verse three is a wonderful verse. It it reminds me of Joshua 1.8, the only time that success is ever mentioned in the Bible. Uh, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that, um, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Joshua 1, 8, fantastic verse. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It's about making plans to serve God. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy paths. These verses, they don't mean that you're going to get whatever you want. It means that the Lord, when we commit our works to the Lord, he, he can bless He has blessings prepared for those that are in his will. His plan is to protect, provide, bless, take care of. Um, But this isn't a genie in a lamp, okay? Josh, uh, this verse 3, Proverbs 16, 3 is not a genie in a lamp. That means if we uh, do what God has told us to do, that God has to do what we want. And, And we can't do what God wants us to do if that's our spirit, as we just looked at, we have to make plans to serve God, to follow him, to do what he has commanded us to do. That's the way that we have to make plans. This passage is about answering the question of every young adult, what should I do with my life? Tomorrow we will continue to look at how we are to make plans, how we are to decide what we should do with our life, according to the Proverbs um, in this chapter. Today we know we must make plans with right motives and make plans to serve God. And when we do that, we will be living how God intends. People will see our life and our walk talk. Walk Talks today by listening and subscribing to our podcast. Follow us on social media for sneak peeks at future episodes and to share your favorites with others who would benefit as well. We hope your heart has been enriched by God's word to take your next step in following Christ.